So hi there. Uh, today I'm continuing with my uh, stay-at-home photography series. This is another in macro photography. Today I'm going to be looking at some flowers and showing you how I shot them really up close. So just getting right into it, of course, I have my camera, I have a 100 millimeter macro lens, I have a studio light, I have two more lights with red and blue bulbs, I'll be experimenting with those just to see if I can get some interesting effects with color. And then over here I have some wildflowers and things that I picked up this morning while I was out for my walk. And then to hold it in place, I have this, which is homemade Play-Doh. Um, you can find recipes online. It's simple, pretty easy to make. Um, in fact, I'll probably include a link down in the description to the one I use. This is a cook method and it uses cream of tartar, but there are other ones out there that don't call for cream of tartar and you don't have to cook. So, you know, find the one that works best for you if you need it. And of course, if you have kids and they have Play-Doh, maybe you could convince them to let you use some of theirs for a little while or not. But anyway, so getting on with it. Okay, my first subject is going to be this dandelion, which has gone to seed. And I have it stuck in the Play-Doh, which hold it in position. I've now got my camera set up on and focused on it. And the backdrop is just a piece of cloth, which I've suspended draping over a table. So as long as I keep my subject a reasonable distance from that backdrop, it's going to stay pretty black. Now the light I'm using is adjustable, so I can lighten and darken this until I get what I want. Now right now I'm at F11 ISO 200 and I'm at 1 25th of a second. Now according to the light meter on my camera, I'm actually a little low, which is fine because I actually want that low. And now I'm just going to turn on my remote. And I'm going to snap a couple of different shots. All right, what I'm going to jump to next are these bluebells, which I found growing right at the edge of where I live. They're kind of cool. So I'm hoping to get the foliage in it a little bit. Maybe not. It's not cooperating. Oh well. You know what I've discovered? These wildflowers don't last very long. So even though I start off with them in water, they'll start wilting pretty quick. Right now, I'm at 1 15th of a second, F11, ISO 100. And again, you know, the light meter says that I'm low, but I want low. Whereas I want that gray background to actually look kind of black. And even though I've got these overhead lights on, it's still, what the camera is seeing is still kind of dark. And that's the great thing about macro photography is that you can just do all kinds of things with it and anything that you can think of just try it worst thing that happened is you create a photo that you're going to go like oh that looks stupid so delete it be done with it move on what i want is to try and take a picture going across the top of the flower let's see what we got Let me lower this just a little bit What I'm doing is I'm focusing just on the stamens and not the petals. And that looks pretty cool. Let's see. 
I'm using a light here, but you know, if you don't happen to have one or a flash, you can use a flashlight, it'll work. Focus just on that. And actually, that's pretty cool. And even by varying where the light hits, you can get different effects. Which that's dead on. This is kind of off to the side. Um, you know, if, if you don't have a macro lens, you can use a regular lens like a 50 or an 85 if you happen to have extension tubes, which I do. Um, I'd much rather work with a macro lens, but you can even work with a zoom. And I'll show you in a second, just as soon as I set it up. All right, now I'm actually set up with the 28 to 300 zoom. Right now I'm at 300 millimeters and I'm manually focusing this. Now the one thing about using a zoom is you can't get right up in whatever you're shooting the way you can with a macro lens. So that's a drawback, but with this camera, because it's uh, what, 45 megapixels, something like that, um, I can crop this down pretty close and still get a really good image. The other thing that this is telling me is that I'm really dark. So, let's increase the ISO just a little bit. Yeah, we'll go up to 160. And that'll work. So it's just to show you that you don't have to have a macro lens. You can work with what you have. If you have extension tubes, by all means use those. Uh, if you have a zoom, if you can get right around 100 millimeters, that will in a lot of ways act like a macro lens. You won't get the magnification with a zoom that you will with a macro lens, but you'll still be able to get some good shots. After turning the camera off, I started to experiment. And of course, I kind of knew this, but anything that was in behind the main subject, which is this little blue bell, is going to be really blurry. And because there's some light coming from behind, I've also got the blue light on, that causes the foreground objects to reflect. So what you get is something like this. And just by moving around this bit of greenery, you get different effects. And I'm just turning the stem around. It's, it's quite dramatic, or at least the photograph is dramatic. And so I continued to do that with some of the other flowers and this is what I got. this video. Uh, if you did, please click on that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.